Hi guys, so in this video I'm gonna talk about my cats and show you my cats. In the last video I asked what do you guys wanna see me make a video about and I got a lot of suggestions and one of them was to make videos about my cats. So, and I I got this suggestion before on TikTok and other platforms, so I thought it's time. So in this video I'm gonna tell you basically what they're like, show you what they do and stuff. Just like a video about my cats. Yeah, so you may know the names if you follow me on other platforms, but the white one is a girl and her name is Dio. And the gray one is a boy and his name is Taki. And before you ask, no I didn't name her after Kinsu. <laughs> I didn't name her at all. Actually, my brother named her and he named her after the character from Jojo's Bizarre Adventures and his name is also Dio. So, <laughs> the second one, his name is Taki and we named him Taki after the character from Kimi no Nava or Your Name. Some people were asking me if I named him after the Taki snack. I haven't even tried that snack ever because it's not sold in my country. So no, I named him after the anime character. So yeah. Well. Taki is one year old and Dio is two years old. Dio is an angel basically and Taki is the worst creature I've ever laid my eyes on. I wish I was joking, but he is like the most annoying thing I've ever witnessed in my life. His hobbies are screaming and screaming. He wakes everyone up every day at 5 a.m. by screaming. Sometimes he starts at 3 a.m., 2 a.m. Basically, he screams anytime. Like, if he is bored, he screams. If he wants attention, he screams. If he wants food, he screams. If he wants me to change his litter box, he screams. That's what he does for a living, basically. Well, folks. He also doesn't fight. If I go play with Dio and I just like do anything with my hands, she or she will start fighting me and sometimes she will scratch too. So don't try her because she will fight back. This one, he doesn't fight at all. Like, he doesn't fight. If you play with him, he... most of the times he's not even gonna play. Sometimes he will and then if he gets annoyed with you, he's not gonna fight you. Like, she's just gonna scream. He doesn't fight. Let me demonstrate. See? He's all good. But... He hates if you touch his back legs or his tail. He's gonna get mad at me if I do that. But yeah, he's never gonna fight, ever. He just doesn't fight. He's just gonna stand there and just take all of your attacks on him. Sometimes he's just gonna let you know that he's annoyed, but he's not gonna fight. Now let me carefully show you what Dio is gonna do if I try to play with her, but we have to be very careful, very very careful. She squares up in one second. So I don't know how much it tells you about their personalities, but they are, yeah, complete opposite. And after I showed you this, you would think that Taki is the good angel one and she is the bad one. No, Taki is a wolf in sheep's clothes or whatever it's called. Wow, what a great lightning we have here. I'm gonna get my ring light. Now it's better. So now that you can see both of them and me at the same time, so, every day they wake up, they ask to be let outside. By ask, 
I mean, Taki screams like he's dying. I swear, I've never heard a cat scream like that. He, he's just... Yeah, she on the other hand, she never screams ever. As I said, she's an angel, she's really polite. She will wait until you wake up. If she thinks you're too late to wake up, she will try to scratch at my door or just do a like really tiny meow. Like she'll be like meow and wait, wait, wait and then meow. <laughs> she is really polite and she is a good cat. Taki. She never screams and we do let them outside because I don't live in a city, I live in a really small town. Our property is like fenced and gated and stuff, so they never go anywhere, they just stay in our backyard or front yard. And that's basically the only thing they do. They just... Taki will scream to be let outside. You would think he has like a family and kids to feed the way he screams to be let outside. And then you let him outside and he just makes like five steps and just plops his body on the ground and just lays on the ground. That's like all he does. And then he just gets bored and stands up and goes like five more steps and just plops on the ground again. I have so many pictures of him just laying on the ground outside like that's literally what he does so yeah we let them outside but as i said they don't they don't go anywhere they don't do anything like whenever you look for them you find them in our like on our property they never go anywhere which is great also taki has a great habit of his he will just go somewhere and lay down as he always does and then when you try to find him you go and call his name he will hear you calling his name he will just look at you going crazy trying to find him and he's not gonna say or do anything he's just looking at you he does this inside he does this outside he just looks at you you can go around for hours screaming his name and then find him right in front of you in a bush and he's just looking directly at you as you scream his name as I said, he's the most annoying creature I've ever witnessed in my life. She, whenever I'm looking for her, she is right there, right in time. She will like run faster than the flash. Even when I call Taki's name, she will run fast. And sometimes it's really helpful because she runs to me when I call Taki. I will sometimes find Taki by going in the way that she ran to me from. They some sometimes they hang out together. Most of the times they don't hang out together. Like Taki has this place outside where I'll show you a picture. We had like a box thingy. It's not a box, it's made of plastic. We had that thingy there and Taki likes boxes obviously. He climbs in every box. So we noticed that he often would go in that box, so we put like a towel, like a soft thing for him to lay on, and he just lays there all day he just goes there when he's bored of laying on the ground he will lay in that box and oftentimes we find him in that box and we're lucky when we find him in the box because as i said sometimes he will just sit in a bush and look at you while you are trying to find him and i actually ordered this thing i'm gonna put a collar on him and i'm gonna put that thing and basically i need a tracking device to find him because he's that annoying. I understand if he like ran off or like went outside of our property and just went to the neighbors or something and I couldn't find him. But he's literally all the time that you can't find him. He's literally in my vision like area, but he's just not responding. He's just looking. As I said, he's really annoying. Well, folks. So every time you see a cute picture of Taki that I post online, just keep in mind that he only looks this angelic, he's actually really annoying. Another fun thing is she likes to play all the time with anything. He does not play ever. Sometimes I think Taki is just a decoration. I swear he doesn't do anything, he just lays down all the time and just screams. I have a tiny basketball and I throw it and she really likes to play with it. She's basically a dog.
Also, he cannot eat cheap food. I don't know how it's like in your country, but we have like a couple of brands of cat foods. And if you try to buy him like the cheaper versions of cat food, he throws up. And the vet told us that basically his breed cannot like process cheaper food. I don't know what the ingredients are, but basically the vet told us she can if you want to give her that cat food that she can. He cannot eat poor cat food. Well, folks. He likes to eat sunflower seeds. It's a snack in my country, I guess, and my mom likes to eat it, and he likes sunflower seeds. I even had to Google, are cats allowed to eat sunflower seeds? Because I was scared, because he was like so into them. And they can, apparently cats eat sunflower seeds. And he is obsessed, she doesn't care. He is also, he can't stay alone, basically. If you're in a room and he's in another room and he notices that he is alone in the room he will start screaming he may have like the separation anxiety i know some pets have that he may have that because he sometimes when he notices he's alone even when she's in the room like she is in the room with him and he will start screaming like he's like scared that no one's in the room with them and he will start screaming and if i go in the room he will see me and he will just like try to lay on my leg or something that way he knows like i'm secured and not going anywhere <laughs> and he'll start purring and like he will not stop purring because he thinks that i'm gonna leave if he stops like showing me affection he like think we're leaving him forever or something <laughs> i don't know what's up with that so yeah they sleep right there where that door is it's our hallway they sleep in the hallway their their litter box is there their food is there and they also have their their like bed slash playing thingy. They don't always sleep on that, by the way. Sometimes they sleep on that. Sometimes they they also have like another like chair thingy and another chair. And sometimes like they sleep wherever they feel like sleeping on the chairs, on the bed, on the floor, wherever they feel like sleeping. My brother and my mom also leave their doors open for them. Sometimes they want to sleep in the room, they go in the room and sleep with them. I can't do that, I tried, but I'm really, I'm a really sensitive sleeper, like my alarm is the vibration on the phone. I don't have a sound as my alarm because I wake up from only the vibration. Because I am really sensitive to sleep and that's why I say that he's the most annoying thing you've ever laid my eyes on because once he meows one time, I wake up 3 a.m., 4 a.m., at 5 a.m. That's why I say he's the most annoying thing ever. Because she, compared to him, is an angel. She never does any, any of that. Never screams, never demands to be let outside. She goes when you let her go. And she does this thing where, like, I'll be eating, eating something and she sees that and she wants food. She's not gonna, like, scream, because he will. He's just gonna start screaming. She will start purring and extending her paw like this. Because she's, like, politely asking you to feed her too. <laughs> I'm telling you, she's, like, the most polite cat. Even though she squares up, she's the most polite and angel cat you'll ever see. And he is the worst. Sometimes he'll sleep, like, in positions that you think he's is a dead cat basically. I have pictures and videos of him sleeping weird. By the way, I don't know if this is entertaining me just talking and then just sleeping. <laughs> but yeah, this is the cat video. I'm just talking about the cats and what they are like. Do you guys have pets? Tell me in the comments and tell me their names and what they're like. By the way, Taki has a friend that comes over like when he's outside. There's this cat that comes over. I don't know if it's a boy or a girl. I think it's a boy, but I'm not sure. And she doesn't like him. She will kiss at him. He's obsessed with that cat, but and like sometimes he will see him through our window and he will start screaming so I let him go outside to meet his friend and it gets annoying sometimes because sometimes it's raining and that cat is just outside our house and Taki screams to be let outside but it's raining or it just rained and it's like muddy and stuff so I can't let him go he will just scream because his friend is here and the most annoying part is that 
but he doesn't do anything like when i let him outside he goes to that friend he just lays down next to him and they just look at each other they don't even like meow or say anything or do anything like they will just look at each other or just like lay next to each other and just like look around they don't do anything so this is all they do all day every day they sleep then they eat and she sometimes plays with me he will scream at me so yeah i don't know what else i could tell you about them she is leaving because she heard my mom doing something in the kitchen as i said she's really polite so she's not gonna scream or something she's just gonna look at me and look at the door and then at me and she will wait for me to let her go She's not gonna scream or do anything. <laughs> she just waits because she's polite. And then I go and let her go outside. <laughs> As I said, he sleeps in weird positions. This video is probably really long and probably boring because they were just sleeping and I was just talking. <laughs> but yeah, if you wanted to know more about my cats, hopefully you learned something new about them. So yeah, thank you for watching this video and I'll see you in the next one. Bye! Well